Leos, welcome to your December reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Leos, I feel that um, the month of December, it's bringing here... Um, a certain journey or a quest for something that you really want to find and I feel that for some of you what you want to find is a sense of hope or a restored sense of happiness and joy in your life and I feel that this joy and this happiness this quest that you are after is something that it's really profound and and a result of certain a result of a certain difficult period or cycle you have been in that has caused some depressive or more of a dark element in terms of the the the, the type of outlook you were you were so far having in regards to life and relationships that it's, it was a little bit more um, either sad or or non available to the good side of life I feel that some Leos are recuperating um, a place inside of them where they are more available or th where they are available again to love, to laugh, to trust, to experiment, to change. Um, and this in particular is a message for Leos that really have endured some type of strong loss. I feel that some of you were have been dealing with a real loss of, of um, someone close to you or if it if he hasn't been for those of you who don't identify with an actual death or a loss of someone close to you uh, there has been losses in whichever you perceive uh, so far you have lost and I feel that in the, in that process you endured some some degree of pain and some degree of uh, a lack of hope and I feel that your mindset is changing and you are allowing a rebirth here to happen and to bring you more to a sunny side of life of this this uh, reading is for Leos a group of Leos that have been feeling down and hopeless for other Leos I feel that um, you may be dealing in December with an ongoing struggle or an element right now in your environment that feels negative or feels restrictive and you may want to get away or escape probably for the holidays or for a weekend or for a period of time you may desire to escape to gather some strength, some emotional healing from the turmoil this situation is bringing. Some of you are dealing with difficulties within the family unit or difficulties in, you know, agreements and getting everybody to come together, you know, as a whole, as a family. Others of you are dealing with overbearing behavior, uh, bad behavior from um, you know your your work conditions or the type of crowd you are in or you're just not really enjoying the vibrations of your of this the, the, the place you are living and you may be desiring to escape and this escape and this journey that I'm talking about it's one again that it's based on a need to go after a quest um, to, to discover some to, to, to give you some enlightenment in certain things that you are not quite understanding at this time. I feel that some Leos are dealing with doubts, uh, not really knowing or understanding a lot of maybe why they do the things they do or why they think the things they, they think or why they keep attracting certain circumstances in their life. And so I feel that you are aware of the doubts you are having and in December you are focused on retreating a little bit so you can it's kind of so you can make you know an, an adjustment or a balance something within your perspective that would allow you to understand better your life 
I feel that some Leos are in a, in a little bit of a, an identity crisis and you're really desiring enlightenment because you also have the star crowning you. You're desiring, you know, and you're having high hopes at this time that everything will be okay and that everything will work itself out towards the most positive way. I feel that you are in a good, um, in a very good mind frame. I feel that you can restore faith and you re you can restore some hope um, in the in the perceptions and the lens towards w towards towards which you look um, to your world. But I also feel that some Leos. Um, some Leos are, are, are here going through a lesson within the light and the shadow attributes and elements of life and that both life and death are a continuous dance. And I feel that some Leos that have been living too much on, you know, it's not that there's anything wrong on, on being very optimistical and having hope and always l looking to the best. But I feel that some Leos are using that as a crutch to avoid looking at the deep, dark places that also exist in this reality. And so I feel that for those Leos, there may be a situation, a twist or a turn or something that happens that confronts you, that really confronts you with the fact that sometimes certain things, certain experiences in life are going to carry and bring an element of loss and death and darkness to it. But it's because of those, it, it, the, the interesting thing is that is that because of those experiences that you experience the light, that you experience the healing that you experience the enlightenment is through the, those difficult painful situations and i feel that the star is here to allow you to think higher in a higher to have a higher understanding of the laws of life and the laws of death i really i really feel that some of you are dealing with loss um could also be a loss of a relationship or you're trying to fight away. I feel that others of you are trying to fight away bad, your own bad behaviors or your own bad unhealthy patterns or addictions or things that you are aware you're not doing right and you're trying to adapt or readjust what needs readjustment on your side. And I feel that you are being very brave and that some of you are doing this to the sake and the health of your family and of your own. I feel that uh, some Leos are going to receive a very important message from the divine. Um, I feel that this message bears real meaning and significance towards something you are looking for. And another message that is very repetitive for you this month is that in order to find, you need to go. So in order to attain something to reach something you need to go after it there is a sense of you getting out of the the shell and try to look for to look for what you need at this time so that you can find some comfort so that you can find some 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 soothing energy in that quest i feel that leos are here in a very deep month um December feels very deep in regards to the understanding of experiences in your life, a closing up of a cycle and spiritual enlightenment. And at the same time that you are being spiritually enlightened, it's very interesting because you have two cards of enlightenment and then you have two cards, of one of ego and one of pain and darkness. You see, you have the beautiful star and the sun a lot of hope, optimism, you know, success, radiance, the self, being able to express yourself from your true, from a truthful place, and being able to give uh, expression to your own inner child, and to go after and pursue your happiness and pursue 
um, and pursue life in a in a in a in a note that feels right, that feels good, that feels that kind of have that delicious element of something that it's good to live for, a feeling where you feel that it's good to live for, it's good to feel alive. But then you're still battling with the devil and the ten of swords. So it's a very it's a very dark and night, uh, I'm sorry, it's a very night and day kind of feeling that may be surrounding, surrounding your experiences overall in the month of December. And it's not at all a bad thing because it's promoting that beautiful contrast in which I believe our nature is built, which is this notion that where, where is light, there is shadow and vice versa. And one cannot live without the other. And there is this, it's like this joining, this bringing together of two very powerful forces driving you in a healing journey. And it's very strong. I also feel that for some for some Leos that have been uh, battling, have been battling with, you know, being able to just to just get out a little bit of your own, you know, negative voices and negative um, in the negative impressions and the negative talk you may have with yourself. In December, you are going to be able to detach more easily from those experiences because you are more spaced out you are more after bigger meaningful you know things you are not so concerned with the little petty ego driven um notions you are much more open to higher concepts i also feel that some of you are going to have friendly hours with celebrating with friends uh, some of you have here a very happy New Year's Eve so I feel that the energy gets lighter and it gets better as you reach the end of the month as you go through this tunnel that you are asked to go through um, some of you are, are, are just reaching here an important um, you are reaching here an important stage in your life in regards to perception, in regards to understanding that truth is not absolute and that um, you living in accordance to your truth is what matters. It's not building a life where everything has to be, to make sense, it has to fit your standards, the standards of what you believe to be true. It's you living it, embodying it, not needing to explain it, not needing to impose it, not needing to find it. It's just, it's already inside of you. And I feel that Leos that have been, there's, this is the thing, because this is a very dualistic, dual, dualistic kind of energy, is that Leos that have been down are asked to go out a little bit more, try to gather a little bit more joy, try to regain a sense of enjoyment into being with others, allowing the sun to come in into your room, allowing things to inject themselves with more color and to go out more for the Leos that have been down, for Leos that have been just, um, how can I say, for Leos that have been you know, living in the, in the bubble of illusion, of everything is beautiful, everything is great, my life is perfect, and so forth. For those Leos, there may be here something to pull that's going to pull you or pull them a little bit into a more deep place of understanding of certain truths that reside within you that wants that want to be expressed so uh, you know your reading is one of the most uh, symbolic ones that I have read so far there's a lot of symbolism and I, I feel that this is a part of what I was saying in regards of you realizing that you need to go after answers and you need to quest for those answers because there's a lot of symbols but you may not really know how to interpret them. You may really not understand the message there. And so you need to go after, um, you need to discover and uncover ways 
of making sense of those symbols. And it's a very powerful time for you mm. in regards to... It's like... Um, in regards to understanding... Understanding a part of yourself that has been buried because the sun is in the subconscious. So there's something about who you are. There's something upon your light that has been occulted or overshadowed by some circumstances of negativity or loss. Some of you may have or are still dealing with, you know, again, some type of addiction, attachment to someone or something that is consuming you. And it has been taking away the sun, the energy of uh, vitality, you know, vitality, recuperation, strength, stamina. Some of you are feeling really drained as well in the month of December and there's a need again to take this break. You are advised as possible to go somewhere. For those of you who can locally travel or just have uh, somewhere to go different over this period of time, it's really good for you to do that. I feel that there's there is healing in movement and in shutting down a, 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 it's like you need a temporary retreat to shut down the voices of the crazy uh, busy world you may be living in you know or the environment that feels polluted that feels tainted so that you can really get a hold of yourself and understand what this devil or those demons are about and the only way to do that is to go in a place where you can detach so you can understand the attachment you, you understand the polarity here you need to detach so you can understand the root of the attachment or the root of what's keeping you in a place that you don't like or what's keeping you from the rebirth or from accepting changes or the natural laws of life and death so there's a lot of quest, a lot of study. I feel that it's a very inquisitive month. And the more you search, the more you will find towards answers and things you really want to know overall in, in, in December. And your curiosity as well, your interest um, into deep spiritual matters or esoteric matters or philosophy matters that make you question reality whichever that whichever um that may be to you you may have a very profound profound conversations as well with people who get you who understand you or who are going through similar experiences and i think all of this is very beneficial to you to go out there and connect more with the meaning or the hidden meaning of life and why death and loss is a part of it as well so i hope you have a great month thank you so much for all of you who have been liking sharing commenting supporting my channel overall in this uh year of, of 2016 i really appreciate it appreciate it and i'm so thankful for it thank you so much and hopefully we'll see each other soon